He is known for his leadership and command in various divisions and corps during World War II. He played a crucial role in the Battle of Leyte and the Battle of Okinawa, earning him Army Distinguished Service Medals. His name is John R. Hodge. In the annals of military history, one name stands out, John R. Hodge, an American general whose contributions to the Allied cause during World War II were remarkable. Hodge began his military career as the Chief of Staff of the Seven Corps, serving under Major General Robert C. Richardson Jr. stationed in California. His leadership abilities were quickly recognized, and he was promoted to the temporary rank of Brigadier General in June 1942. In 1942, Hodge was transferred to the 25th Infantry Division in Hawaii, where he became the Assistant Division Commander. The division was soon deployed to Guadalcanal, an important battleground in the Pacific Theater. Hodge played a crucial role in the division's operations, demonstrating his strategic thinking and bravery. His commendable service led to his promotion to the rank of Major General and his temporary command of the 43rd Infantry Division. Under Hodge's command, the 43rd Infantry Division fought valiantly in the Northern Solomons, earning him the Army Distinguished Service Medal in recognition of his outstanding leadership. After his commendable service with the 43rd Division, Hodge was given command of the Americal Infantry Division stationed in the Fiji Islands. He led the division during the intense Bougainville campaign, showcasing his exceptional tactical skills and unwavering dedication. Hodge's exceptional leadership did not go unnoticed, and he was appointed as the commanding officer of the newly activated ZIF Corps in Hawaii. He played a significant role in the Battle of Leyte within the Philippines campaign and later in the Battle of Okinawa. Hodge's strategic brilliance and unwavering determination earned him the Army Distinguished Service Medal for each of these campaigns. In June 1945, Hodge's remarkable achievements were recognized with a promotion to the temporary rank of Lieutenant General. His military career is a testament to his unwavering commitment to the Allied cause and his significant contributions to the field of military strategy. In the later stages of his career, John Hodge found himself thrust into the midst of the Korean War, leading the United States Army forces in Korea. Tasked with the monumental responsibility of commanding his corps, Hodge arrived in Korea in September 1945, landing at Incheon under the orders of General Douglas MacArthur. It was here that he would play a pivotal role in receiving the surrender of all Japanese forces in Korea below the 38th parallel, marking a turning point in the region's history. After successfully completing his mission in Korea, Hodge returned to the United States and assumed command of the U.S. Corps at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. From 1948 to 1950, he led this corps with distinction, demonstrating his exceptional leadership skills and military expertise. However, fate had other plans for Hodge, as the outbreak of the Korean War in 1950 would once again call upon his services. In the face of the escalating conflict, Hodge was appointed as the commanding general of the U.S. Third Army, a position based in the United States rather than in Korea. Although he may not have been on the front lines, Hodge's strategic guidance and command played a vital role in the overall efforts of the U.S. military during the Korean War. His promotion to the rank of general in July 1952 was a testament to his exceptional service and dedication. Hodge's illustrious military career reached its pinnacle when he assumed the role of Chief of Army Field Forces in May 1952, a position he held until his retirement from military service on June 30, 1953. Throughout his career, Hodge displayed a remarkable blend of leadership, courage, and tactical acumen, earning the respect and admiration of his peers and subordinates alike. Sadly, General Hodge passed away in 1963 at the age of 70, leaving behind a legacy of military excellence and unwavering dedication to his country. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.